Welcome everyone to a practice to help cultivate adaptability. I'm so grateful you have joined me today for your practice. My name is B Sherlock and I'll guide you through today's flow. How do you find yourself responding in moments of the unexpected? Perhaps you become frustrated, stressed out, maybe overwhelmed. In this practice, we'll focus on being adaptable through finding acceptance of the obstacles life places in our paths. It can be distracting and disappointing to be derailed from our plan of action by the unforeseeable and the unplanned. But as these moments are out of our control, the one thing we can control is how we respond. By adopting the principles of the ocean, the fluidity of the water element, we can learn to be more flexible, learn to use the breath in the moment and let go, and we can learn to find the joy in whatever life thinks we need to endure. We can learn to take the detours with grace around the obstacles of life, but importantly, we learn to then return to our intended path. Let's meet on the mat. Let's begin the practice using Ujjayi breath. Um, Ujjayi breath helps to soothe the nervous system and calm the mind. And it's kind of like a soft whispering breath. Um, we gently constrict the throat and we breathe through the nostrils and it kind of sounds a little bit like the ocean. So we imagine that we're fogging up um, a mirror. So we're constrict constricting the throat like we're fogging up a mirror, like we're making the noise, but we're doing that with our mouth closed. So give it a little practice now. You can bring the hand up to the mouth and as you constrict the throat and breathe onto your imaginary mirror, just imagine, like just feel the heat of the, the breath on your hand. So we do it on the inhale as well. Now, as we're doing that, close the mouth and use the nostrils. So you can see how it's kind of got that ocean-like sound and we're breathing through the nose. So the other element we're going to add here is uh, Samavriti. So we're going to do equal inhale and equal exhale with our Ujjayi breath. Um, as you learn to do Ujjayi breath a little um, more with more practice, the noise becomes actually quite silent. So we're working towards making that um, a very, very quiet breath. So if you're in a room with other people, they wouldn't be able to hear you make that nice ocean sound. It's purely for you. So we can sit up tall now, lifting up through the crown, grinding down through the sit bones, close down the eyes, take a deep inhale, exhale, release all the breath out of the lungs and begin our Ujjayi breath, breathing through the nostrils, constricting the throat. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe you count to five for the inhale and the exhale. And then just begin to find some fluidity in the breath. Moving to your own cadence. Just really connecting the breath to the body and the mind. One more full round of breath. Release the breath, allow it to return to its natural rhythm. 
and just observe the body. Recognize any fluctuations throughout the mind. Beautiful, you can flutter the eyes open now. Throughout this practice, we can come back to the Ujjayi breath at any moment. So in any posture while we focus on the breath, you can bring it back to that constriction of the throat and breathing through the nostrils. Rolling over now, come to all fours. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the chest, coming into cow. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, round and arch the back, come into cat. Two more times at your own pace. Inhale. Exhale, finding that fluidity, finding that flexibility through the spine. And exhale, coming back to center. Inhale now, bring the left knee to the middle of the mat, extend the right leg out long and just Flex and relax into that back calf and the, and the sole of the feet and the toes. On the inhale now, press into the fingertips. Just shift the back foot so it's parallel with the short edge of the mat. Sweep the right arm to the sky. Whoop. And take an exhale here. Engage the core. Inhale, reach the top of the arm to the top of... Sorry, inhale, reach the right hand to the top of the mat finding a nice stretch through the side body maybe open the chest a little bit more to the sky inhale and exhale navel draws to spine one more breath inhale as the breath rises from the seat along the side body and exhale return the right hand to the mat and bring the right knee to meet the left good Inhale now, bring the right knee to the inside, the middle of the mat, extend the left leg out long, flex into the toes, just rock back and forth, breathing into the calf and the sole of the foot. Inhale now, rotate the back foot so it's parallel with the short edge of the mat, press into the right fingertips, sweep the left arm to the sky. Beautiful. Exhale, draw the navel toward the spine. Inhale, extend the top arm to the top of the mat. Gently rotate the left armpit toward the ceiling. So we're opening up a little bit through the chest, feeling a nice stretch through the side body. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Last breath, inhale as the breath rises from the seat. Exhale, navel draws to spine as we return the left hand to the mat. Good. Inhale now, tuck the toes, sweep the tail to the sky. Ardha Mukha Spanasana, downward facing dog. Just take a moment here, you can pedal out the legs. Lifting one heel, dropping the other, bending one knee, straightening the other. Good. Inhale now as you wave the body forward, come into plank, whole body activation. There's a slight rounding of the upper shoulders. Heels are over the toes. Exhale, sweep the tail back to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave the body forward, finding that flexibility and the fluidity. Exhale, draw the tail to the sky, coming back to downward facing dog. Inhale one more time. Waving the body forward. Exhale, tail to the sky, downward facing dog. Take a moment here. Inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky, three-legged down dog, shoulders are square. Exhale, draw the knee to the chest, step the foot between the hands, lower the back knee to the mat. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over the head. Exhale, frame the front foot, push the back, push the hips back to the heels, extend the front leg, flex the front foot, find length in the spine. Exhale, hinge at the hips, folding a little deeper into the fold. So bringing the forehead toward the shin. 
good. Inhale, wave the body forward, coming into low lunge. Sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, frame the front foot, push the hips back, coming into runner's lunge. Two more times, breathing into the postures with your own pace. Inhale, coming up to low lunge. Exhale, framing the front foot, coming back into low, uh, runner's lunge. Inhale. Beautiful. Exhale, coming back to runner's lunge. Inhale, coming back to Anjayanasana, framing the front foot, making sure that back foot is tucked. Extend the back leg, so find strength and foundation in the back leg. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, rise into crescent lunge. Beautiful, so bending into that front knee. The knee is pointing in the same direction as the toes. Sole of the rear foot's perpendicular with the floor. So we're engaging that back leg, finding strength in the knees and the ankles. Using the breath here. Inhale, breath rises from the seat into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine. If you can use the breath to breathe through the challenges on the mat, you'll find the breath in life off the mat. Good. Inhale, frame the front foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Hmm. Just take a moment here, internally rotate the elbows toward each other so we're broadening through the chest. Lift the tail up and back. So the sternum draws toward the thighs. Mm. Good. Inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw the right knee to the right wrist. Extend the back leg out toward the middle of the mat. Hips are squared. If you need to find a little more space in the hips, you can pop a block or a book or a blanket underneath the right hip. And as we exhale, gently walk the hands forward, coming into Ekapada Raja Kapatanasana, Pigeon Pose. So just breathing into the posture here, you can bring the forehead to the mat. Hmm, maybe you sigh it out. Ekapada Raja Kapatanasana helps us open the hips. Stretches the low back and the glutes. And maybe we find a moment to reflect. Find that flexibility to accept the detours that life places in our paths. And breathe into any restrictions or discomfort using the breath. Hmm. Coming back to your jai breaths to maintain your focus. One more breath. Gently lift the torso, walking the hands back to the front shin. Press into the palms, tuck the back toe. Sweep the right leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw the right foot to meet the left. Coming back into Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, wave the body forward, come into plank. Exhale, you can lower down knees, chest, chin, or draw the elbows to the side body. Lower down halfway, come to the tops of the feet. Push through the palms, lift the thighs away from the neck, from the mat. Upward facing dog. 
exhale, tuck the toes, sweep the tail to the sky. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. Shoulders are squared, feeling a nice stretch through the right hamstring. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, lower the back knee, sweep the arms overhead. Anjayanasana. Good. Exhale now, framing the front foot, draw the hips back to the heels, flex that front foot, find length through the spine, exhale, hinge at the hips, folding toward the front knee. Finding fluidity now, inhale, bend into the front knee, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, flow like water around the obstacles of life. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, bend into the front knee. Exhale, hips to the heels, flex that front foot. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead. Exhale, flexing that front foot, drawing the hips to the heels. Beautiful, inhale. Bend into the front knee, sweep the arms overhead, tuck the back toe, lift the back leg, coming into crescent lunge. Engaging that back leg, so finding the strength in the foundation. Using the breath here, lengthening the spine, toning the legs. Finding our breath in the posture. Breathing through any resistance, lowering the shoulders away from the ears, tucking the tail toward the mat. Inhale as the breath rises from the seat along the spine into the collar. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Good. Frame the front foot. Sweep the left leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. Inhale, bring the left knee to the left wrist. Extend the right leg out to the back of the mat. Squaring off the hips, popping a block underneath the left hip if we need to find a little more space. Take an inhale, find length. Exhale, gently walk the hands toward the top of the mat. Maybe you come to the elbows. Maybe you go a little further. Maybe you put a little more space and you bring your forehead to the mat. Coming back to the Ujjayi breath now. Pigeon pose is a wonderful way to Recognize where we have discomfort or resistance and be like water and let go. Maybe we can flow around the discomfort. Maybe we need to flow through the discomfort. All the while using our breath. We're being open here, being open to joy and pleasure, finding ways to be fluid, ways to be adaptable. Last breath here. Pressing into the palms, lift the torso, tuck the back toe, sweep the left leg to the sky, coming into three-legged down dog. Exhale, bring the left foot to meet the right. Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave the body forward, coming into plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. 
Inhale, tops of the feet, upward facing dog. Exhale, bend into the knees, draw the hips to the heels. Coming into child's pose. Take an inhale. Notice as the breath rises from the base of the spine along the back body. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Good. Shift the hips to one side of the heels, extend the legs out long, come to find a supine position. Draw the shins toward the chest. Maybe you rock a little bit side to side. Massage the lower back. Bring the knees toward the armpits. Grasp hold of the soles of the feet. Happy baby pose. Maybe you interlace the fingers around the toes, the big toes. Maybe you're bringing your hands to the, the calves or the uh, ankles or just even behind the thighs. Just go to where your body allows. And in Happy Baby, we're realigning the spine, so we're opening the inner thighs and the groin. And we're lowering the heart rate. Maybe you're rocking side to side, coming back to find that openness to joy and pleasure. Again, finding ways to be adaptable in the moment. Be less rigid. Beautiful. Inhale, bring the soles of the feet to about hip width apart. Cactus the arms. Lower the knees to the left. And just breathe into this nice twist. Maybe your gaze goes over toward the right. Breathing into a gentle twist. Finding some nice fluid breaths. If you want to intensify the twist, perhaps pop your left ankle on top of the right knee. Shoulders remain grounded. Returning the knees back to center. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the knees to the right. Gaze comes to the left. Again, if you want to intensify the twist, bring the right ankle on top of the left knee. We're just breathing into the twist. Using the breath to find that adaptability. Reminding us to be like water, fluid, able to flow around or even through those obstacles. Inhale now, coming back to center. Extend the legs out long, feet are hips width apart, allow the feet to fall to the sides of the mat. Bring the arms beside the body, slightly away, palms are facing up. Gently tuck the shoulder blades underneath the chest. There's a slight tilt of the chin away from the chest as well to encourage the natural curve of the spine. Release any tension in the jaw. Let go of the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. And relax the brow bone. Maybe ease a little tension there. And if they're not already, close down the eyes. Take a moment to observe the breath. May 
maybe to find your focus, you come back to your Ujjayi breath, creating that gentle ocean sound to help draw you into a deep and blissful Shavasana. Bring your awareness back to your breath now. If you were using your jai breath to maintain your focus, allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. And just witness the inflow and the outflow like the ocean's waves lapping at the shore. Begin to find some movement in the fingers and the toes. Maybe you find some fluid movement in the neck and the head waving from side to side. And when you're ready, roll to your most comfortable side. Just resting on the bicep of the underarm. Push through your free hand. Eyes can remain closed as you come to find a comfortable seat. Maintaining our focus on our breath. Remembering its fluidity and flow. It's very similar to that of water. Breathing through obstacles throughout the chest, throughout the belly, maybe obstacles throughout the mind. And as we move away from the mat and into our everyday lives, take with you the awareness that in any moment, in any obstacle, any frustrating uh, event, you can use the breath to help guide you through that obstacle and help you return to your intended path. Inhale through the arms overhead, breathing in the energy around you. Exhale, bring the palms to meet, draw the hands to meet at heart center. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. I really hope that you've found um, a little bit of fluid movement through the body, through the mind and through the breath. Uh, and maybe you've discovered a nice tool to take with you through life off the mat in those challenging moments. If you're new here and find that my practices resonate with you, please like and share this video as it helps raise awareness of my content and spread the word of the great benefits of yoga on the mind and body. It would also be wonderful if you subscribed and clicked the notification bell to receive updates of my new practices. As always, keep making magic in this world from your space at your own pace. Namaste.